Mark chapter 10 verse 17 Now as he was going on the road, one came running, knelt before him, and asked him, Good teacher, what shall I do that I may inherit eternal life? If you remember the previous lesson, Jesus had just finished blessing the children. As he began to leave, a man suddenly ran up and knelt in front of him. Matthew chapter 19 and Luke 18 describe this man as young, wealthy, and a ruler. We don't know his exact position, but he was clearly a leader in that area. As the story continues, we find out that he was a very religious man. It seems as if he had it all together and had achieved everything that most young people desire. Apparently, he was also a quite active. The Bible doesn't record many people running to meet Jesus and kneeling before him. No doubt he acted this way because he thought Jesus was someone special. Yet when he began speaking to Jesus, he only called him good teacher. At the time, such a term did not denote anything more than a religious leader. He immediately launched into a question, What shall I do that I may inherit eternal life? If we continue reading the story, we come to the realization that he wasn't really asking. He believed he already knew the answer. He was simply seeking confirmation that he was good enough to enter the kingdom of God. In other words, he was saying, Good teacher, you know me. I'm smart. I've been faithfully keeping the commandments, and I'm sure I'm eligible to enter the kingdom of God. Please confirm my salvation in front of all these people and let them know how good I am. He was proud of himself for many reasons. Perhaps the greatest of these was his religious effort. This young man had one of the most dangerous concepts of salvation, believing that he could be saved by works. Many Christians today fall into the same trap. Anything we earn through our work and effort cannot be labeled as grace. We would call it an achievement instead. And when we achieve something through our hard work, who does the glory go to? Us, right? So why did Jesus become a man and die on the cross to save us? If it's something that we can achieve by works, if you see yourself in the rich young ruler, I invite you to Calvary, where you can meet your Savior, the one who paid the, the full price to redeem you. I pray that you may be soaked by the showers of His saving grace.